Philadelphia, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Chew Provolone 101. Especially when it comes to politics, where one party has been in control for more than 50 years. And from the looks of things, that same party will still be in control after Tuesday. Doing a story on the election. Election? The elections? Yeah. I haven't been, I've been too busy to even think about it. So you're gonna vote on Tuesday? I'll think about it. I have no idea what's going on. I live in outer space. You plan on voting on Tuesday? Hopefully. You do? Where? What planet? Uh, uh, what the was Zucaville? it? But even the most apathetic voters seem to know about drop. They're getting money for nothing. It's a big issue facing many elected officials. Yet one longtime poll is unopposed in cruising to re-election, despite signing up for the pension perk and promising to retire. Do you know a guy named Ron Donatucci? Some people call him Ron Don. Does that help jog your memory at all? Oh, Ron Don. His name's Ron Donatucci. You ever hear him? No. Let me see if I can jog your memory. Never seen him before. Yeah. How about this guy? You recognize him? No. Oh, I don't know cheating over there on the other side of the sheet now. I'm not cheating. <laughs> Ron Donatucci has held the elected post of the city's Register of Wills since 1979. That's crazy. What year were you born? 1989. <laughs> He's before I was even born. Ten years before you. Ten there. years before I was born. That's crazy. Four years ago, Donatucci signed up for drop, promising to retire after collecting a $370,000 pension payment. Now he plans to exploit a legal loophole that allows him to retire for a day, collect the money, and come back to work. Why does it make sense? It doesn't make any doesn't sense. Make any sense. Why would they do that? What's the point in retiring then? Oh, they get the money. <laughs> and they come back though. They, they the go money. back to the same job? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Don't talk about their job program. Why not? Don't talk about their job program. Sign up for the job. It's the worst. <laughs> she didn't want to talk about the job program, but it would be nice to hear from the man getting one of the biggest drop paydays. Mr. Donatucci asked that I put my questions in writing and mail them to his campaign office. He doesn't use email, so I decided to do him one better. I decided to hand deliver the letter to his not so busy campaign office. How you doing? Mr. Donatucci in? Mr. Donatucci. Yeah, Mr. Donatucci? No, he's not here. No? no yes. Where's the campaign? Yes. I have no idea. I guess he doesn't have much of a campaign going on. Uh, if no one runs against you, you don't need a campaign. Is Mr. Donatucci in? Pardon me? Mr. Donatucci? Is he here? Yeah. Oh, no one's here. Oh, when's he going to be here? Do you know? I really don't know. Called his office yesterday at City Hall and they told me to um, mail my questions down to him. So I went, and they said to mail it here to this office. So I just wanted to deliver it. If you want to leave something, I'll get it to him. Excellent. There you go. I didn't get a response to my hand delivered message, but I still had questions. Register of Wills handles marriage licenses and wills. Why do voters need to elect an official to oversee such a routine administrative function? You think you need to elect somebody to do that? No. That's an elected office? Yeah. That's nuts. That isn't that a waste of money? You're asking, waste of money. you're asking the same questions <laughs> I've been trying to ask. What would your campaign platform be if you were running for a register of wills? Let me keep track of your stuff after you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Three days later, I still hadn't heard from Ron Don. So last Friday, we went to his city hall office. I wanted to ask Ron Donatucci about three things. Signing up for drop while running for re-election, the hiring of patronage employees, many of whom are committee members and ward leaders, and lastly, why do we elect the Register of Wills? Hey, how you doing? Good, I'm Paul Listen, Davis. My pleasure, but uh, let's stand in the hallway. This is a place where people are yeah, breathing. Gotcha. Well, you know, I just sent you the letter asking the questions. I, you know, I sort of still want to talk to him about the those three main issues. I mean, uh, I sent him a letter. I've been trying to interview him for a story. So you think he's going to be available? I mean, can you schedule time? I'll come back. I don't think he's going to be around today, to be honest with you. Okay, Ryan is at a meeting right now, so he's not in right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> I think that's the, the answer is it's Friday. There you have it. The election is tomorrow, but Philadelphia's future looks a lot like its past. It's like anything else. Everything's been instituted for so long. Nobody changes the rules, including voters. Nobody changes the laws. Everybody sits back and they want to preach to the choir. Until we get out as voters to change things, nothing's going to change. Paul Davies, Fox 29 News.